I've been Muslim for two years, and this is how I went from this. I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do this. So I'm born in America and I was raised with Southern Baptist uh, Christian beliefs and values. Around 14, 15 was when I started to think a bit more critically about the belief system, the culture surrounding the church, and how I felt about everything. And personally, I have no trauma, no uh, really horrific experiences from the church or from anybody in the church. This was just purely me thinking about what made logically sense um, within the, in the entire religion, the values, um, things like this. For instance, one thing that I never understood and was never explained was this trinity concept like what was the trinity who was the holy spirit um how was jesus the son of god i thought it meant sometimes they just referred to it as like oh we're all children of god and jesus was just a son of god but then i came to realize like no they actually believe he was god's son and that was something i wasn't very sure about i believe that jesus was a real person and he was uh, important person but I never really quite understood how he could be God but then a human at the same time but then God's son at the same time but then like these things didn't make sense to me and so I became less and less active in the church as well at the same time. Another thing that I can remember from an early age was my baptism and how important that was for my family and how it was something that i really felt pressure to do something that i needed to do i remember this time when they're passing around cups of grape juice and crackers that i wasn't allowed to have one because i wasn't baptized my brother had just gotten baptized and so he was allowed to have the juice and the crackers but I wasn't allowed to have it because I technically wasn't a Christian and I wasn't saved. And um, yeah, so I just had to sit there while everybody else was eating their little crackers and drinking their little cup of juice. And I was wondering why, because I had been at all the events that these people had been. I went to all these Christian functions, summer camps, everything. Like, how could I not be considered a Christian? It was very uh, confusing for me. So back to whenever I'm 14, 15. These types of things didn't really make sense to me and I kind of stopped saying that I was Christian. I stopped going to church. I never had any ill feelings towards the people, but I just, I kind of fell out of the faith. So from about 15 to 20, I would just consider myself agnostic or atheist, one of these kinds of things. And now thinking back on it, I always think that I believed in God. Um, I just didn't really know what to do with that feeling. So I moved to Belgium when I was 19 and that was the first time I was ever exposed to Islam or I was ever exposed to Muslims and that was because I was going to an international university. And sometimes we would have little Eid celebrations and I would go to those and it was just like a barbecue cookout kind of nice event. And I had seen my friends pray once or twice, but I didn't really ask any questions. I didn't really bother to think about it any, any much more than I had to, and that was kind of it. It wasn't until one Ramadan that my friends told me that they were going to be fasting and they were not going to eat during the day or drink during the day, and they were just letting me know. And I said, oh, that's really interesting. I never heard about Ramadan. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't even know what fasting really was. My friends explained it to me and it sounded really, really interesting. I had never experienced or heard anything like that. So I asked if I could fast with them. And of course they were more than excited to let me fast with them. So during that month we were fasting and my friends were praying and watching Islamic videos. And I just asked like, oh, like, what are the typical things that you do outside of fasting during Ramadan? And they told me, okay, so we're supposed to, it's a time of learning, we're supposed to read a lot of Quran, we're supposed to give charity, these types of things. And I said, oh, the Quran, like, I didn't know you guys, like, had a book like that. 
um, I've never read it. I'd be really interested to. And so they were excited to give me a copy and I just started from the beginning. Honestly, that night I just intended to read maybe one or two pages just to like kind of try. But that night I sat through and I read all the way through Surah Bakara and I was kind of just feeling this feeling I never felt before. Like I never felt that I was reading something and it, it felt like it was speaking directly to me. And I never got this feeling with the Bible. I always thought the Bible was something that was very wordy, very complex. And a lot of the like stories in the Bible, I, I didn't really have a full grasp on at the time. Or just maybe the way they were presented to me didn't make much sense. But reading the Quran, it was very clear. Everything was super clear. Of course, I was reading it in an English translation. But it felt like it was speaking directly to me. And... It was just something that like I was having a hard time putting down that night. That Ramadan was really a spark for my entire journey. And throughout that next year, I just dedicated a lot of time to learning about Islam, watching a bunch of khutbahs and Islamic lectures, reading more and more um, Quran and other types of like learning materials. I wanted to learn how to pray. So I downloaded like these certain apps that can teach you how to pray. I didn't even know that the prayers were in Arabic. I literally thought the prayer was just like doing this movement, but then you're just saying like whatever you want to say in your head. Like I didn't know there was like specific things you needed to say and I didn't know it was all in Arabic. So that was very overwhelming for me and I was kind of like, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? This is like, there's a crazy learning curve when it comes to Islam. Like I felt like I was so out of my comfort zone but it just felt like the right thing to be doing it felt like i really just needed to be doing this so i kept going and throughout that year i would continue to just make small adjustments in my lifestyle and the things that i was doing and the things that were around me the way i was dressing um just also like my demeanor and working on like more internal um things and at that end of the year i felt like I feel like I'm just role playing as a Muslim, like what am I waiting for? Like I really did come to believe these things. I really did believe like the basic tenets of Islam. I thought the values were something that were intrinsically good and great for society and especially like the way women were treated. And I just thought to myself like why am I delaying it anymore? especially reading like the consequences of dying a disbeliever i thought what is the point i already am i'm so deep i've already given up so much just just do it so i took my shahada just with one of my friends in a room and since then i'm just continually learning more and more and more and that's my story